Neglected the troopy, working on the troopy for a while, haven't we? Um, <laughs> yep. So we're back to it today, and we are making our what's this? Our pantry door. The pantry door. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to have rattan here in this area, but we're trying to work out <laughs> the best moon shape. <laughs> yeah, the best moon shape. Half moon. So we're hard at work today. And some painting as well. Yeah. That so this is our door. We'll have rattan on the back side of it, and it'll be painted white. It's going to be painted white like everything else. If you guys can see, but it uh, looks pretty good, and it will open. Obviously, when I put the hinge on, it'll open out that way. And we put this here for the phone. Is that right? Yeah, we put that little piece at the bottom there because we've got our foam here, which is 75 thick. So then, when we open the door, the we don't door have to move the foam. Will um, go over the top of the foam. Yeah. And then we put a hinge on there and some stoppers and paint it up and looks good. Don't mind us. Just a bit of bogging up the holes. Got the bench cut. Got the foam cut. Got the pantry door cut. Just going to put rattan on it once it's painted. Meanwhile, while everything's kind of drying, um, we've got our outlets that we're going to mount. So we got white ones, um, had to get them online, couldn't find any of them anywhere. So we're going to mount a 12 volt uh, and two USB and then a double power point. Uh, it's running off our 2000 watt inverter. So be, those two will be here. Then we have another set, another two up the top there next to our kitchen. And then we have a couple behind our seats for the charging camera gear. Um, drones, anything on the road that we want to charge. Um, so, and then we might have a light switch here for our awning and some lights around the house, uh, around the, the car. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You happy with those? Yeah, they're good. So, just a just a 12 volt one side, and then just a dual USB on the other. Okay. Happy that we were able to find white. Yeah, we definitely didn't want black. Mm. Um, Black, everything's white, so we're just gonna match it nicely. We got our rear bar last week from Thornburns. Uh, we got the Weber box on the left hand side, of the spare wheel, and also got the bash plate as well. So it was pretty keen to get that on, but we actually went away over the weekend, so I didn't get time to do it. And so I said stuff, I got home from work today and started to get into it. Wanted to do something inside, started doing that and go, nah, stuff it. So came out and started ripping this off. and. I had it on just before, it looked good. Uh, I'm just going to play around with the mounts a little bit, get it good. And then the two side mounts onto the body. And then they'll probably call it a day. And then tomorrow I'll do the two swing arms. I'm going to pack the bearings and um, put them on. But they should be easy after doing that. So we packed up early yesterday, working on the rear bar. Got late, we were tired and we had things to do today. So. Um, after work, I started 
modifying this. Just the holes didn't line up exactly right with our tow bar. So I had to drill them out a little bit more with a step drill bit and then just rust coated them and rust proof them. Now I finally have it on as you can probably see and I'm just installing the body mounts and just getting them uh, exactly right so then it sits nice and straight at the back and then I can tighten up everything. putting on this rebar. We have a Toyota um, tow bar that we got from the dealership and the holes kind of didn't line up so I had to pull it off, re-drill the holes with a step bit, then paint it, rust proof it, put it back on and it was a tiny bit off again. Then did it again. So we were doing this over kind of two, three afternoons. I kind of lost faith and then I got bored over it because it kept annoying me. Um, it's Sunday at the moment, just got to get it done because it's got to go into the shop to get wired up inside, wire up this bar, some outside lights and all that, but what a pain that was. But it's on now, it all lines up, looks good. We just packed the wheel bearings and finishing these up, just going to put the split pins on and the dust, cover, the dust covers. Um, so this side's for our spare wheel, as you can see, and then this side will be our weather locks. Um, so be a swing out box that opens with our little baby cue in it. Here's our big web box. It literally looks huge. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Yep. It's massive. So that's going to be on the other side. So yeah, keen to see it on. wiring. I'm just going to move my rego plate down there and wire the few lights up again but it's all on Weber books so you can't open it just when it's in this but that's it there. It's it opens huge. the whole way up uh, when I swing it out but that will hold our little Weber and then everything else that we're going to put in there for cooking wise. Uh, good bit of storage on the back. It's not very heavy. Um, put a dust seal across there so should keep the dust out. If not, I'll just I'll replace that seal and put a different one. All just adjustable lock. So that's how tight they want to go. Just adjust them up and down. So make them real tight. Wheels on. Put the wheel lock on it so no one can steal it. Don't worry about that. Um, just opens up nice. Don't want to slam. <laughs> and this one's the same thing. Very nice. Uh, open up. Looks good. And then obviously you just close yeah. them so you don't back your shins when you get them in the car. And then these are on gas struts as well too. So they open just enough so they don't hit. Ready? Bang. <laughs> no. No, so good. Very open. good. And miss. Happy? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Looks like a touring car now. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> gas struts are your life. <laughs> So we're finally mounting our solar panels. We uh, we decided we're not going to pop rivet them in. We're going to use um, Sika Flex 252, which is like a ultra high strength polyurethane that um, bonds really really hard to aluminium. This aluminium on here, and we just didn't want to drill into the roof of the conversion just for water like we could make it watertight but just as an extra um, 
extra way of making sure we had no water coming in. So we're going to glue them down, keep them down for two, three days, um, and we should be really good. But we've got 200 watt panels uh, from Renergy. We wanted to go a little bit bigger, but it didn't fit sideways. So we're not going to have them like we're going to have them like this. But this one's obviously going to be forward, and then we're going to have storage at the back um, for probably a box, you know, just for some light gear that we'll be taking with us whenever the car's full, which will probably be most of the time. <laughs> but what about the brackets? They were a different colour too. These brackets were actually just plain aluminium. I spray painted them with a bit of primer and paint, so they now match the black um, solar panels and they look good now just to measure it out where they sit and pull this one forward measure it out center them up and then we'll get this uh sicker flex and glue it down that's it huh? actually got it actually got it here it's pretty expensive um stuff <laughs> 40 something dollars for a tube but high strength structural adhesive which a lot of people use this on um, solar and yeah so should be good I'm gonna put glue on where I marked the brackets gonna sit put a little bit of glue on there Have to sit it down put the other one next to it make sure they're all straight I'm gonna lay just some ply and just put some weights on it and leave it for the next probably two days it dries, you know, very, very quickly, but just the drying time um, and its strength gets over for a couple of days. Yeah, didn't they say you have like 10 minutes to make sure it's Yeah, perfect? 10 minutes before it's pretty much set to make sure it's good. So make sure we've got everything ready to go. Mm -hmm. We've got it all set it on and she should be good. And then wire it up on Thursday. Nervy, a bit nervy. That's right. <laughs> We let these dry for probably two days. They're absolutely so strong. I, I reefed up on them a bit and I could see the actual conversion pulling up. So they're really, really strong. You happy um, with it? Like yeah. Flex? Yeah, happy with it. Um, plugged in these two now. So just running, gonna run some cables. So negative and a positive. We're gonna run it through to a grommet. It's gonna go somewhere here. It's gonna go through the conversion with a waterproof grommet then down, leave a short piece enough so when you pop the conversion up it has enough um, length to come up with it and then another grommet through the other side of the conversion and then in our two hour um, dual battery area and our lithium battery into uh, manager 30 so this will be controlled by the red arc manager 30 so that's pretty much straight below us um, behind my passenger seat so that's where we're keeping all our battery gear so I'm actually I'm just tidying up these cables put some split tube over here so you don't see them and clean it up a little bit and then I'll drill this hole and then you won't even know that's any cables on the roof here. 